Hello guys, welcome to Code Enzyme. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download files directly to Google Drive using Google Colab. So basically, we will be running a Python uh, notebook, and we will see if you have your download URL, you can just run a function to download files directly onto the Google Drive. Uh, this actually someone asked me in the comment section to make a video on how you can uh, and download uh, items directly onto the Google Drive if you have a general URL. My previous uh, one of the videos was uh, how to how can download torrents using Google Colab, and this is in response to that comment. So thanks for commenting. So I have prepared two notebooks, and uh, I will give you the link uh, to this uh, repository in the description. You can just uh, go to this link, and you can start copying these one by one. Okay, so I will show you how you can do it. Uh, uh, let's op uh, let's just open a new notebook. So whatever notebook you have here, just uh, just may make a new notebook, and this time I'm I'm going to call it file downloader. So now we can just start uh, copy pasting these uh, one by one. So first is this one. First we are trying to mount mount the Google Drive. Mm, let's run it. Connect to Google Drive. Sign. Give it all the permission. Allow it, and it will be mounted. Okay, we can see it is written mounted at content drive. Basically, we will uh, when I go here, we will have a new drive section here, and a my drive section. and we can see we have uh, uh, we will see all the uh, things that we have in in that drive okay so now let's go uh, and add a code here let's copy the second block okay now uh basically we are downloading this request module to download uh, using the uh, using the url and this is tqdm it is basically for making the progress bars while downloading i think i just copied this code from uh, this download function from uh, stack overflow i don't remember it was a very long time ago but what it does is it takes the url parameter and it downloads that url and it will also show us the In progress of that download so basically we will be able to see how much percentage of that uh, uh, file has been downloaded uh, using this function so there is nothing uh, uh, to complicate it let's move uh, further let's add another block of code this one so what this does is it will i have a list of urls and while true suppose you have multiple urls so you can just uh, keep pasting the urls like that in here and uh, let's add another block of code now so after that block has ended we can run this block so if we will iterate in the for all the urls in this url list and uh, after that we are going to run this function now what you need to do here is uh, you need to update this home path and sub path home path is going to be your uh uh location of the drive for example if you want if you have a folder let's say uh let's say you uh you want a folder in this my drive so i am going to do is uh, i am going to copy path and in this folder you want to have another folder for example i will just name it downloads in this uh, big folder you want to have another sub folder and in this sub folder you want to have your files so i can just say sub for uh, sub path is equal to downloads and now uh, this uh, item will be downloaded in this sub path okay so let's try to download a few images for now i guess i will just search for football images uh, just uh, as a sample so let's run this block also
so now let's run this and uh, so now let's uh, run these also and try downloading some images so i'm going to search for football images for now so let's try to download this one i think uh, this should work and let's also give uh, try to download this images uh, image here so we have these two images basically these are the urls of that file uh, if you have the uh, mm, direct url from to that file you are, you should be able to download it now if i will run this function here it should download to my uh, to this location in my drive in the downloads folder so i can see uh, this first image was this much size and i got a progress bar but uh, the image was too small so it was uh, very uh, quickly finished okay so now if i go to my drive here i can i can see a new downloads folder is created and in this i have two files that i just wanted to download now uh, okay the video uh, this was the whole concept of this video how you can download uh, this uh, these files now i have also prepared one more file suppose you have too many files uh, in the uh, for the urls and it will be and these are big files and it will be hectic for you to download them one by one right so you somehow want if you want to download all these files concurrently that means uh, the that means all these files should start at the same time and they may end uh, at whatever pace they like right so if you want to do that what you want to do is import threading here so i am going to import threading and uh, copy this block of code and instead of uh, this block i am going to add another block here and i am going to paste it so basically uh, we are cre creating threads on on every thread we are going to run uh, this download function so let's try running this i am going to uh delete these for uh, from here for now and if i run this okay i had to run this first block again because i just pasted it let's just now try to run this block again and we can see both images were uh, okay we could not actually see that here but uh, if we, these files were big you should be able to see that both images will be uh, start will start downloading at the same time and they will end uh, whenever uh, whatever their pace but it will show it will surely save you a lot of time if you use this method instead of this one if you have multiple urls for uh, two or three images or small videos this should work fine but uh, just uh, it is an optimization okay so that was it guys if you are able to understand this kindly like this video subscribe to my channel i will see you guys next time and if you have any suggestions for uh, my next video you can just uh, comment down i generally read all the comments and reply to them so thank you guys i will see you guys next time